Right now, though, we're getting to get off my lawn. Michael I'm a man. I'm 40. Has three things today he's got to get off his chest. He's got to complain about. And, you know, it might be making you feel a little curmudgeonly, but you got to say it. So what do you got for us today? Curmudgeonly? Curmudgeonly. The heck, man? Step my scrabble game up. (laughs) Curmudgeonly? Okay. Curmudgeonly just sounds like the thing it describes, too. Yeah. Curmudgeonly. Yeah. Okay. I feel 100%. All right, this Wednesday, it's time to get off my lawn, man. The first one, I got I to gotta call out one of my teams, man. Oh. Do not like the way. Now, I almost didn't talk about this because I heard someone on ESPN talk about it, and I go, you stole this from me. Mm. I've been holding on to this for like a week. Mm. But you dang Dodgers, man, the way you guys handled that situation with the young lady and her fiancé who caught the ball, you guys treated her as if she was a criminal and separated her from her fiance. Could you imagine if someone came and separated from you from your your dude, Curtis? Could you imagine catching a baseball and security comes and separates uh, Brenner from you? Could I imagine if, if security yeah. came and separated my wife from me and hands got her in a corner? Hey, right. I don't know. If, don't 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 hands. We need you oh, at work the next bad, day. Okay. Yeah. We'll get arrested. Bro, we okay. can't have you in security. We right, can't right. have you in Mariner's can't jail. Have you doing jail. Oh no. But the way they handled that was ridiculous, yeah. right? And then they they threatened to not authenticate the ball if they don't give it to her. Then they give it give the ball to them. Excuse me. And then to make it even worse, to make it worse, Otani implied that he talked to the people and took pictures with them and made everything okay. That's not okay. All right, in a world where it's getting all crazy, you got to protect your loved ones. You do not corner a young lady at that. I'm old school. Call me old school, okay? You do not corner a young lady, separate her from her man, and pressure her to do something that she might not want to do. You don't know. Her fiancé, husband, whoever it was, could have had some sound advice. Like, you know what, babe? Let's just give it to him. We'll take the bat in the hat or whatever they mm-hmm. want to. The bat in the hat, cat in the hat, and Dr. Seuss bars. All right? We'll, we'll take whatever, and we'll, and we'll just enjoy the rest of our evening. But no, the way they handled that was ridiculous. You are the Los Angeles Dodgers for crying out loud. You're one of the most recognizable franchises in all the world, Craig, and you handled this <laughs> like you were a minor league team in Arkansas somewhere. Yeah. That Verlander just shows up and he throws a no-hitter and now you're jacking the ball. It was just so classless. I'm embarrassed to be a Dodger fan right now. You don't do that, especially to a woman. I'm old school, man. Open the door. I Open the door man. for your lady. Thank you. I also agree that uh, I don't know if security was just ill-advised Maybe they were trying to go out there and bully and and manhandle their way through it. But, like, that is not how you handle it. And I swear, sometimes people get a tiny bit of authority. A tiny bit of authority, and they go crazy with it. You like that, uh, like that, that security guard at uh, at Walgreens. You see that? There's a security guard no. at Walgreens that accused this young lady of stealing. And my man got flashlight. He got guns on the hip. I'm like. <laughs> Security at Walgreens is like that? No, I understand. I live out in the country. I'm in Monroe. Maybe it's a bit different. But in Seattle, I guess it goes down at the Walgreens. Come on, man. You don't scare women like that. Don't scare anybody like that. But me, I, you know, I'm, I'm a husband. I'm a father. I got a daughter. I, I could, I could not imagine my daughter being in that situation and being even a little shook. I don't like it. What's next? All right, next. It's the greatest week in golf this week. I'm a man. Stacey. I'm 40. It's of the course. greatest not make week here. in golf this here we week. Go. Here we go. All right? And now... I need Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, you got to finish the dang tournament. I'm so tired of Tiger Woods not finishing the tournament. I understand you almost lost your leg. I get that, Tiger. That's real. I understand <laughs> your, your back is all jacked up. I understand that, Tiger. In 2021, oh, let me change it. 2021, Tiger did not finish the U.S. Open. In 2022, the PGA Championship did not finish. In 2022, the British Open did not finish. In 23, the Masters, he didn't finish that either. In 2024, he didn't finish his dang tournament. His own tournament, he didn't finish. Tiger, this is for me. I'm being selfish. Yes, it's for me. No, it's for me, and it's for all the middle-aged men out there who live for this week of golf. We live to see you on Sundays wearing that red. We live to see the club twirl after you just smack a long iron in the middle of the fairway. We live for those moments. The last time I saw you ball out was, what, 2019 and those Masters, and I appreciate that moment, but I'm holding on to you, Tiger. You're one of my favorite athletes of all time. My other favorite athlete already passed away. God rest his soul, Kobe. Tiger, we need you to finish. That's right. I don't care if you're 22 over. Well, you won't make the cut if you're 22 over, but let's let's be respectful about this <laughs> stuff, all right? But, Tiger, we need you to finish. It ain't about you this week, Tiger. It's about us. It's about the guys wearing the khaki shorts and the dad hats and the college shorts that are going to follow you all around Augusta National, all right? I need you to finish. Tiger, please do this for me. I finish beg you. Finish the tourney. Finish the tourney. Say Thank it with you. me now. Finish, finish the, the tourney. Let's go, with Tiger. Energy. Finish the tourney. I need you, Tiger. This is serious, man. <laughs> Our last hype train is what? 
Hype train? Or hype I'm train. a man. <laughs> I'm get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. All right, man. This is embarrassing, dude. This one's embarrassing. I saw a commercial the other day, and it was for uh, Skechers handless slip-on shoes. Bump? And I looked at them. I go, Don't? those things are comfortable. <laughs> Look at that. Could you imagine just Sir. sitting on the side of your bed Bump. and just sliding your feet in there? But Bump. I'm not going to do it. But what I am going to do is Nike, Adidas, all y'all. Y'all got to step your game up, man. You got to step your game up. All right, I'm 38. I'm almost 40. I'm a man. man. I'm looking at that Skecher commercial, and I'm going, dang, if those weren't Skechers, I'd rock those. I don't have to bend over, and, you know, you put your finger behind your, your foot and slide your foot in your shoe. You um, just sit there and slide your feet in. Nike, I, Adidas, Reebok, all y'all, step your game up. I need shoes that I can just put on oh, without no. having to touch them, all right? You got shoes you don't have to touch. You yep. just put them on. Uh -huh. Why can't I have shoes that aren't Skechers, though? Minor heels. I don't need Skechers. <laughs> Skechers, you're doing, you're doing your thing, man. And, and maybe it's because I'm getting old and I'm looking at you different. I'm looking at you different, Skechers. But I'm not there yet. If I ever walk in here with Skechers, Curtis, just know that I got a hell of a bag for that. I got a bag. I got an NIL deal. They hooked your boy up. All right? I don't want to do that. Nike, I need y'all right now. Because those, those shoes look too comfy, man. You know you're getting washed when you just don't have time to tie your shoes I simply anymore. don't. You know you're washed because I know the commercial bump is talking about, and it's this woman going, Skechers. And she like she's going to the grocery store, and yeah. she just steps into the shoes, and she keeps walking, and she She's like, she's also like too young to be doing this. But, but of course she's on here. Like when you go to the grocery store and you don't have time to tie your shoes, your uh, knees hurt. And you, and you feel her. No, I don't. You feel her. No, I do not. You just, you know, you're not living in your reality space. I'm not, what do you mean in my reality? I, get, I, I don't want those you, shoes. You don't want, you're I'm fighting okay tying my shoes. I don't want them I'm neither. I'm not fighting anything. I don't want them neither, but I look at them and I go, just throw a different sign, a little brand on that thing and we're good to go. Bump. I say this respectfully, <laughs> and I say this with love. This is the oldest thing you've said. It is. This is the most washed you know segment what? of Get Off My Lawn I've ever heard. Y'all are family. Is this not a safe space? Can I, like, no. not be vulnerable and let you know that I sat you there You can say what you want, watching, but you will be dragged. I'm watching a Mariners game. Uh, obviously, it's Mariners, so you know they, they got middle-aged men watching this thing, and they put on the commercial, and I sat there and go, those are nice. <laughs> Those are nice. But you I can't kind of do are it. the target audience for a lot you of really Mariners commercials. Are. I yeah. can't do it. Yeah. I am. I'm a middle aged dude watching baseball. Next commercial. Do Grazing your joints his beard. hurt? <laughs> <laughs> That's are me. you tired of chewing food? Hey, I'm just saying, <laughs> sketches. If you toss me a bag, though, I'll do it. I mean, I'll do it if you toss me a bag. I fully believe that you would rock Skechers. You would rock anything if they were like, we got an NIL deal for for Bump. If Facts. What I'm waiting for is for you to have a live read after sitting here talking about Skechers uh, slip-ons being life-changing, that, that Skechers reaches out to the sales department and they're like, we got to get this guy. Get me. 206 says Bump. Type in Google shoe, uh, no shoelace Nikes. They're out there. No, no, no. Yes, those are out there. These are different. How are these different? You, you don't have to touch them. You just slide your foot in. I had Nikes without the laces. Oh, when, what, what were those shoes back in the day? Prestos? You just rocked the Prestos back in the day. I'm telling you, they're different. How are they? Is it like you just, how do you not you step out of them? them? You don't touch them. It's, it's modern technology, Stacey. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on.